What is good, y'all? You dig know what I'm saying? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy, J.I., and I'm back at it again with another banger, you feel me? So, today, you see the title, you see the thumbnail. We're talking about how much money I've spent on Mamba. To get Mamba to look like this, the suspension, the headlights, everything, the whole nine yards, the performance aspect of the car, everything. We're talking about everything that I have put on this car, how much I spent on it. Um, even even the stuff that's not no longer on the car, we're gonna touch bases on that as well. So let's go ahead and roll that intro and get straight into this video. Let's get it. What is good, y'all? You dig? Welcome back to yet again another episode of J.I. Productions. It's your boy J.I. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Enjoy the video. You dig? All right, y'all. Coming in hot at number one. Let me go ahead and put my seatbelt on. I already know y'all finna get on me. Um, coming in hot at number one is gonna be... <laughs> The one that I get asked the most, the topic starter, the bags. I am running the Airlift 3P um, suspension on this car. So basically that cost me 3,500 for the suspension alone. And then I got it installed by my homeboy Clarence for $500. It took him about a week to get the install going. Now, if you guys don't remember, I have one of the bags blow up on me. On my way home from picking up the car you feel me like literally 30 minutes into the drive first drive and the passenger front bag blew on me so that was 150 dollars from airlift they didn't warranty it so i had to pay that um now moving from suspension going to exhaust work as you guys can hear you know what i mean it's not a stock exhaust so when i first got this car i bought it from carmax it already had a resonator and a muffler delete on it but the piping on the car was definitely choking it in a sense the sound was so quiet um it was ridiculous it was like i think like two inch piping or less to keep it a buck with y'all um so i went ahead and i got the secondary cats deleted i believe i paid 150 for that um not 100 percent sure i can't remember but that still wasn't loud enough for me because the piping was so small so i went ahead and upped the ante a little bit and i did the the primary cats deletes with the three inch piping all the way down, all the way to the back of the car from the stock headers and back now with that i went ahead and i to get it done over at Asus, which is not that bad, you know what I mean? Considering they literally welded an entire new exhaust on there for me. Um, and then for the tips, I bought them off of my boy Versatile Speed for 150. Um, now, that is not my current setup anymore. Now, moving on to the current setup, I now have the Texas Speed 178 long tube headers with the connection pipes catless i went ahead and i got those those cost me about 950 dollars then i got the rotofab cold air intake the oil filter that cost me 390 including tax and shipping um as far as before i had the rotofab cold air intake i had the cold air inductions cold air intake and i bought that off of a guy i got that for 300 I believe yeah it was 300 or 350 i believe it was three flat though if i'm not mistaken so i'll let you guys hear my current setup <laughs> not gonna lie i love it man so it's still the three inch um piping that i had from the cat the cat delete all the way back it's just now the long tube headers are added in so i'm not gonna lie a lot of people have told me that the idle and lower rpms are a lot quieter than before i put the headers on and i'm gonna be honest i definitely agree it did tame the sound a little bit it's not obnoxiously loud as it used to be 
Um, and I really love it. I like the, you know what I mean? I like it, to be honest with y'all. It's aggressive when I want it to be and calm when I don't want it to be aggressive. You feel me? Now, with that being said, we move on to the interior pieces. Now, as far as interior goes, I got the air freshener here from my guys at official full option that i got sponsored for i do have a discount code for you guys it is ji squad just ji squad it's on the screen i also had the foam mount but i gave it to my girl because she really needed one um now as you guys can see on my steering wheel i do have paddle shifter extensions i got these off of amazon for I want to say can't remember I had them I literally originally bought these for Hazel which was my 2011 um, V6 Camaro unfortunately I didn't know at the time that the paddle shifters on the 2011 are different from the steering wheel refresh that they did on 2012 models um, so I kept these in the vault I was gonna do a giveaway nobody really you know what I mean came out and tried to get the giveaway so it is what it is i kept them ended up using them on mamba now i do have the red carbon fiber shift knob cover for the automatic i got this from camaro carbon um they were a sponsor that i was working with i'm not gonna lie i didn't really pursue the sponsorship however be, uh, because it one took so long for shipping to come out and two with the discount code that they were gonna give you know what I mean? You guys really weren't gonna see any like gains or anything like that. Like it wasn't that good of a discount code. So it's just, I couldn't put my stamp of approval on it. And then on top of that, the fitment on the shift knob is definitely annoying. You can still see the stitches from the original shift knob. Going back and forth with them via Instagram and customer service, definitely just, at the end of the day, they kind of just left me blank. They left me hanging um, with it. It just, it, it's ridiculous. It is what it is though, you know what I mean? Um, speaking of carbon fiber, I do have the carbon fiber door handles. Now these are just some cheap door handles that I got off of eBay, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I paid like 25 bucks for them, nothing too crazy. Now, I don't really like the weave on them because like I said, they are cheap. I'm pretty sure it's not authentic um, carbon fiber. Now I wanna go ahead and go to Camaro, not Camaro Carbon, but there's another website that has them or Fast Take Performance also has them. They're just out of stock right now. I wanna go ahead and swap those out for some real carbon. Um, now, moving, since we moved back to the exterior of the car, my diffuser. A lot of people ask me about my rear diffuser. I paid nothing for it. Um, I didn't insert it in the clip of when I was getting the cat delete done on the car, but literally me and Lester just went at it with a Dremel and we cut open um, the diffuser to allow it to fit quad tips. I know it looks amazing. It came out pristine because we took our time and I definitely wanted it to look OEM and I went off of the OEM diffuser um, and used it kind of as a template on um, where I wanted to cut the diffuser and stuff like that and it came out pretty good in my personal opinion. Now moving a little bit upwards of the rear, the rear end of the car, we have the ZL1 add-ons wicker bill. Now, I bought that wicker bill, I want to say, like, a year and a half ago. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I can't remember off the top of my head how much I paid for that wicker bill. Um, so, I'll go ahead and I'll look it up and I'll put the price on the screen. I've been calculating the price on the screen um, right here this entire time. So, uh, I'll just go ahead and add that on there. Um, now, from there, we go to the trunk setup. Now, the trunk setup, I'm going to be honest. My trunk is a custom um i have marble going through it it's not 100 percent done yet but we are close we're at about 75 percent right now um huge shout out to my guy kashik um huge shout out to my guy mel uh huge shout out to my guy balu they all pitched in a huge shout out to my boy d west everybody pitched in to help out um as far as payment goes as far as how much i paid to like get it done in materials i want to say no more than 150 to 200 bucks in materials alone. Um, I did have to buy new fittings for the tank. I did have to buy extra airline. I did have to buy um, a wood, um, what's it called? A wood sheet, but I didn't pay for that one. Um, my boy Kashyyyk took care of it. I also paid
pay Kashyyyk about a hundred dollars uh, to go ahead and knock everything out just you know what I mean because he was helping me out with the work and stuff like that but I still helped out to do it as you guys seen in previous videos so no more than 200 in materials and then a hundred in labor so about three hundred dollars in on the trunk getting it at to where it is now it's super easy super simple you know what i mean you guys can definitely do it as long as you have the right tools and the right people around you you can definitely set up your trunk how i did just you know what i mean make sure you get your boy ji that credit give me my props you feel me but then i did back going back to when i did the cat delete i did get the the car a little bass tune um i paid 150 for the credits of the car now if you guys don't know what that is basically whenever you buy whenever you tune your car or you know what i mean or your truck whatever you have to buy the credits for the computer to be able to get into the car's computer and you know what i mean go ahead and modify make adjustments and do whatever it is that you need to do now with that being said i did pay 150 dollars to get it done um am i happy that i did it hell yeah because I got the headers installed by my my guy J Rod. Can't say how much he charged me. I'm sorry, Ji exclusive. You feel me? Um, but when I got them installed by my boy J Rod, one of the things that he was worried about at first was, you know, hey, you getting your headers installed, you're gonna need a tune right off the bat. But since I got the O2 sensors cut off, on um, the DOD and something else cut off of the car in the car with that base tune drive my car without it being uh, retuned or anything like that and it doesn't feel like complete crap you know what I mean it doesn't fall on its face uh, whenever I mat it or you know give it gas because the headers because it has a base tune on it um, now moving back to the front end of the car I originally had a lip on my car I've had okay on this car I've had I believe two different lips yeah on this car, I've had a total of two different lips. The first one cost me about 180, if I'm not mistaken, and the second one cost me 150. I got both of them off of Amazon. Definitely, man, you just gotta do your research. You can find some good deals on a lot of these websites that a lot of people be sleep on, man. But as you guys know, I was racing my guy Lester and at about 130 something miles per hour in Mexico. The front splitter definitely flew off. It is what it is, you know what I mean? I'm not I'm not upset about it. I'm gonna replace it, whatever. Now, I do have the ZL1 add-ons front tow hook. That, I got lucky and I won a raffle at Fast Tech Performance. They had a open house and I won the raffle and I got a gift card for $100. So I went ahead and I got the ZL1 front tow hook. So that was a hundred dollars, um, but I didn't pay for it, thankfully. <laughs> um, and then the DRLs, the Demon Eye, and the Halo rings on the fog lights, including the Halo rings inside the headlights. I did get sponsored by Lighting Trends, however, I did have to pay for that. Um, the first kit was three hundred and something dollars, and then they ended up sending me the wrong kit, so I had to get send off the halo rings they sent me the kit for a non rs car I had to send that off so getting the drls for a rs package car i had to add an extra 50 dollars to get that done or to get that sent out um went ahead and did the install by myself didn't have to worry about paying nobody for the install man and like i say if you can get away with not paying for labor bro like if you can do it yourself if you think you can do it yourself if you are even remotely having that feeling like damn maybe i can do this myself bro give it a try i'll keep it a buck with you i don't know why but the camera just stopped recording but like i was saying if you can do it or you think you can do it or you know some of your homie your homies can do it bro go ahead give it a shot at the end of the day the worst thing that you can do is mess up and have to get the stuff warranted and get you know what i mean get a new kit sent in it is what it is but you know, it also helps you in the long run if you learn how to do it. That way, in the future, when you're working on future builds, you can go ahead and knock it out. Now, with that being said, man, I think that's it. I think that's everything. 
um, that I've done to this car so far. This is barely the beginning of stage one for this car. Make sure you guys stay tuned. Keep yourselves up to date. Turn on those post notifications, man. Smash that subscribe button because I do have a lot of stuff planned to do with this build. Let me know down in the comment section down below if you guys want to know what my plans are for this build. Let me know down in the comment section down below, like I said, if you guys really want to see a build plan video, I can go ahead and shoot that and drop it down for y'all. But without further ado, that's going to be it for this one, man. Those are all the mods that I've done to this car. So many more to come. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you turn on those post notifications. Drop your comments in the comment section down below, man. Make sure you tag your ads. And don't drop no, like, oh, fireball emoji or, you know what I mean? Drop a meaningful comment, bruh. Like, I don't get that. Like, you took the time to put your Instagram out because you want me to shout your Instagram out. Now, take the time to put a meaningful comment in the video bro like you know what i mean i'm not gonna shout you out if you just put a couple emojis and called it a day it don't work like that bro it don't so put a meaningful comment you know pick out something that you liked about the video so that i will know and i can keep doing that for you guys you know what i mean keep dropping these bangers for y'all but without further ado man that's gonna be it for this video if you're new to the channel like i say smash that subscribe button turn on those post notifications and Drop a comment in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.